Hey, how you doing? Good. Hey, how's your night going? I'm. Hey, look, man, I'm. I'm just watching this election right now from my yeah. couch. Yeah. And I'm. I'm. I'm kind of trying to get a feel. What do you think? You guys are. What. 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 What really you're thinking? So. I'm 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 born and raised from San Antonio, Texas, and uh, you know if I'm being honest, I voted for Trump. If I'm just being honest, okay, I'm it's, it, it's, it's, that's, true. that's totally okay. And uh, while we might disagree, uh, let's have a conversation about that. Tell me why you voted for Donald Trump. Well, the man, I'll tell you what. The, I, I'm, my main reason I voted for Donald Trump is, uh, man, I, growing up in San Antonio, there's there, man, I just I just see a lot of people coming into the border and down south. Mm-hmm. You know, I go hunting down Dilly in it. Mainly, man, it's a it's a it's a concern. I go down to a deer yeah. blind. I say, goddamn banana peel, you know, that thing, goddamn deer blind. It, it gets kind of crazy down there. You know what I mean? Uh, no, I don't. Uh, how are they affecting your life? Tell me. Well, what's kind of affecting my life is, you know, it's fifty five hundred acres. I don't, I don't, I, you know, I really don't know who's passing through that land. You know, other than my deer and you know pigs and cows and and, and you know. Let me ask you a question. I, I can't speak to horses and pigs because that's not my profession. But I will say this, uh, and I will ask you this question: Why? Why didn't? Hey, on, on, why on, didn't Donald one Trump? Second, I, bye, on, bye. One second. One, one second. Hello. My bad. I'm sorry, man. I had I had to let one go real quick. You know what was your question again? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So let me ask another you another jerky boys call. Hold on, let me ask you a question. Right. Um, He's would, talking about uh, would you like, like would, hunting blinds? And would stuff, you like? Ryan. Would you yeah. like to have a serious conversation, yeah. or are you just calling in just to get a couple <laughs>, laughs because you have nothing better to do? Yeah. I'm sure you're probably a smart guy. Would you like to have a serious conversation <laughs> yeah. in your real voice and tell me who you voted for, or are you just going to try to – because you're not funny. I'll be honest with you. He just you're said he had to funny. take a break, Brian, because he had to rip one off. I mean, come yeah, on. Yeah. I mean, this, the phone call has already gone south. Yeah, Sir, are you still there? No, nah, he's – no, I'm sitting there. I'm okay. just letting y'all okay. speak, but usually y'all don't let me speak. No, so I've let, let you speak. I just off, don't you know think I, 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 I've let oh, you speak. Oh, we let you talk for like three minutes I've let to you start speak. the call. Yeah. I've let you speak, but yeah. I don't think this is a serious phone call. Would you like yeah. to have a serious conversation? Hey, this this, this conversation is serious and hard to take. My name's Stevie. I already called okay. in. So, okay, so, so, so let's have a serious you, conversation you, then. Let me ask you a question then. The bipartisan border bill that MAGA Republicans and Democrats that were attempting to put together, and then Donald Trump told sitting Republican senators not to pass the bill. By the way, that was endorsed by the Border Patrol. Uh, why do you think Donald Trump did that? Well, here, here, here's the thing. Here's one thing I know about Donald Trump. Okay, <laughs> I didn't ask. He's so, not going to ask the answer the question, no, 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 Brian. No, no, no. Yeah. I want you, you to directly answer yeah. the question. Okay, if you're not smart enough to answer the question, then that's okay. Yeah. We all have different gifts in life. Okay, you have the gift of running a farm. I don't. Okay, I don't know how to run a farm. Okay, I'm going to ask you the question again, and if you can't answer it, just tell me you can't, and then I'll ask you something else. But don't try to push it off to something else. Okay. Why is it that Donald Trump? No, no, no. Don't look. I'm asking you the question again. If you can't answer it, that's okay. Just well, And I was trying to ask you to repeat the question. That's all I was trying to do. Okay, so I'll repeat it again for you. No problem, sir. We had a bipartisan border bill where Republicans and Democrats sat at the table, and they put this bill together. It wasn't perfect. Democrats didn't get everything they wanted. Republicans didn't get everything they wanted. But they compromised. And the Border Patrol endorsed the bill. Donald Trump picked up the phone with his little orange fingers, and he called Republican senators and told them not to pass the bill. My question to you is, why do you think Donald Trump did that? Well, I'm, I, I, I really do want to answer the question, okay? But you said that Donald Trump had orange fingers, so that don't really make any sense to me. It doesn't. What, what make does any him sense. having orange fingers mean? Why make you stop okay. an, from answering the question it. Brian asked okay. you? Donald Trump that picked up the it. phone yeah. and used his fingers. I don't know if they were orange or not at the time. Can you please Who answer? Cares, the, yeah, can you please matter. answer the question, yeah. sir? Well, orange fingers would be kind of weird, right? So are you going to like, an- – hey, hey, dumbass, why don't Jack, you, answer you answer the, the question? question? Yes. Are you a dumbass? Why <laughs> yes. don't you answer the question? I've asked it five times now, and I'm running out of patience with you. You've said nothing in this phone call of significance at all. You sound like a complete moron. I've given you multiple chances to answer. Why don't you answer the question and stop being an idiot? Okay, you're wasting my airtime. Why don't you explain to everybody why you voted for Donald Trump, you inbred fool, you? Answer the question. Now I'm frustrated with you because you're not answering the question. I told you if you're not capable of it, then tell me. But you're just being a moron. Answer the question, you idiot. Why do you think Donald Trump didn't want to pass the border bill? Why? Answer the question, idiot. I mean, look. I, hey, I, look. I have a nice day. Have Come a on, nice Boomhauer. Have a nice day, you trash. That's what you are. You're yeah. trash. 
you inbred piece of trash. If Donald Trump wins, it's because of people like you. Dumb Americans. I knew Mid- about three minutes ago he wasn't going to answer Middle-aged, right? dumb By white Americans and like so this did fool. And so did I'm sure. He wasn't going to answer your question, bro. 702-221-7283 is the number to call. Let's go to Dave. Dave is next up on PTL. What's up, Dave? Hi, Brian. I have to apologize when I called in a couple, two, three days ago with the, uh, uh, I don't remember the gentleman that you were talking to, but uh, he really got my goat. And well, I, I, don't re- I don't remember that, but that's okay. A little bit. I understand. But Are you talking about the painter, that Keith? Yeah, that's said, okay. yeah, go ahead. Yeah, that being said, I, I was in boot camp d- uh, during the Vietnam War mm-hmm. with a lot of Texans. The guy that you just talked to is yeah. so typical because a lot of them uh, thought that Texas should be a uh, its own nation and uh, separate from uh, even even then they they just viewed themselves as a different entity uh, from the rest of the United States. So what goes on in Texas in this election is irrelevant, really. Yeah. Uh, but uh, it's looking good. I'm I'm looking at the uh, at Pennsylvania, Michigan. And North Carolina, and they're light blue right now. And she's Kamala's leading huge in uh, in Pennsylvania, and I hope that holds up because that's that's the the path to the White House. So absolutely, that's really important. Seventy two percent to thirty five percent right now. So it's certainly a good start. It's so early, though. You know, it's so early. There's so yeah, many... it is early. Yeah. I know we're like at ten percent of the vote. Right. I mean, it's really so... early right now, and you see, oh well. Uh, but this, I'm optimistic. I'd rather see it light blue than light than light <laughs> pink, wouldn't you? <laughs> no, qu- I agree. There's no question about that. But you know, we haven't really seen any surprises yet, right? And Brian, I would echo I would echo you, sir, uh, the caller, uh, myself. Uh, Twenty years <laughs> after you, uh, I was in boot camp, my friend, in 1990 Where down at? in Fort Benning in Georgia, and I okay. will echo a lot of what you just said, my friend, in that Brian Shapiro. Yes, I had a lot of people in my platoon that were also Texans that absolutely had that same mindset and the same kind of approach to life is the way I'll call it, right, yeah. caller? When it comes to uh, yeah, they- Texas and uh, you know the hunting, you know the hunting culture down there, what he was talking about, and just kind of the general you know framework. Uh, my buddy David yeah, Woolley and a couple others that I was uh, in the army oil with. Oil daddies, their oil daddies got them special privileges and in, in- Boot camp, a hundred percent, hundred percent, easy jobs, and uh, I just, you know, I, I don't want to use the word hate, but I, I, I sure did grow to understand a little bit more about what our nation, uh, the type of people that our nation is made up of. So, but I also had a best friend one time from Texas, and very intelligent, slow talking, and you would think. Like that a Texan, just because they're slow talking, wasn't intelligent, but he was very intelligent and very thoughtful. And uh, so you can't judge, you know, everybody just from where they're from. Anyhow, thanks for being here tonight. I'm glad that you're here, and I'm glad I got to talk to you. Well, I appreciate that, sir. Thank you for calling in. Uh, We appreciate you. 702-221-7283.